Okay, so I am recording. I'm going to do the fish eye for my R2 students, but there's more. There's also I'm going to share with my R1. Um, the difference between fish eye, it is a four, the actual four point perspective, unlike my R2, R1 students who are doing the two point overlap. Uh, so again, I've already did a quick sketch. I'm trying to do Monet's. Um, as you notice, it curves down here. This is why it's fish eye. I, I'm doing a quick sketch of the background of the city of Venice. So that instead of the buildings being straight up and the horizon line being back here, it curves down here this way. Also, the buildings are curving, if you ever seen. So he uses a lot of light. That's why I put a lot of white yellow down here. And then I'm going to just later on paint over it because most of the silhouettes of the city is in purple. So again, I'm going to be using two methods. I'm going to be using analogous colors to value complementary from the color wheel. Later, uh, he doesn't use any value at all. So if you're going to put white, if you do it like an um, impre uh, expression, uh, impressionist, uh, you want to just mix the white with either yellow or the or the blue. That's how it works. Uh, or you're not supposed to use white at all. So I'm kind of like my tints and my tones. So I'm going to leave you guys there so you can see it. We have a student down here. So, there we go. So, right now, there you guys go. No, you're good. Just your hair is going to be there in the way, but you guys gain room. So, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend a little bit of white and blue. I'm going to use also a round brush, a large round brush, bristle, so you guys can see. Okay, so I'm going to grab some white and blue that I have left over from my R2 students. I'm going to mix a little bit of blue into the white. I don't want a pure, I want a sky blue, so I'm going to put a lot of that white here. And I'm going to blend it here. Because I'm going to make it soft here. There we go. And as you notice, I'm doing the fisheye lens. Add more white down here. The reason I want to add more white down here is because I don't want this turning green. So that's why to work this. Now, if it starts turning green, if you ever do, it happens to you and you don't want it to turn green to yellow, please, uh, don't forget your phone, please add, a little, um, add orange to it. That will block the blue sky uh, from turning green. What it will do is it will create a violet, almost like a sunset. And maybe you want to do that. It actually helps a lot. So I'm doing that right now. I'm going to leave that there in my yellow station, just in case down here, just a little bit, not too much. Although it is darkening, so that means I need more. There. And later on, it stops it from becoming green. So I just did a little bit of the orange in there. Uh, sometimes you want to add red, but it stops the yellow from becoming green. See that, guys? So again, a reddish orange. It stops the yellow from turning green. You gotta blend it quick because compare with those dry. So now I'll have to grab some of this right here and soften it up. I might need more white. Hey guys, wait till the bell. Okay, now you guys can go. So I'm adding the orange right now. You're going to notice this. I'm making this to block the blue from either turning it black or turning it green. creates just, I'm trying to do Monet. Monet was an impressionist, uh, post-impressionist, and he focuses a lot on the light. One of my
my biggest fear is the light. So now I'm going to clean my brush, get rid of that. I'm going to come back, clean that out. And I'm going to grab more yellow. Although I got to clean this up. Might as well start with a fresh brush. Clean that up. Grab some of this yellow. Dirty yellow. Perfect. That's what I wanted. And then I'm going to blend it in. Just like when they did. A little bit down here. And I'm blending it. Okay, so I am blending this yellow with the dirty orange to create the bright. I might just blend it in here. So I want to bring some of this down here and blend it in too again. Okay, so it's funny that when you're little, you paint like these masters, and then when you get older and you're trying to make it more realistic, you lose that touch. That's what Picasso was trying to do. He wanted to go backwards. He wanted to say, I want to paint again like a small child uh, or like primitive man. And that's the problem I'm seeing right now. I'm having that aha moment of what the previous masters have done. So right now, I am going back, having a flashback to my early childhood. Okay, so I'm doing just like Monet did, trying to retreat the sky. I'm going to grab some of that red water I have here. Okay, and this is how I'm doing my fish eye. Actually, video recording. So, so uh, I'm going to put a little bit of red here. I'll tell you why, guys. Uh, it's becoming way too dirty. I want to have that. I don't want to lose that crisp light. Now, when Monet did his actual uh, landscape of Venice, he didn't do fish eye. He actually did it. But he put, he kept it very crisp, and that's what I'm trying to keep it to. Trying to stop the greenish. Okay, so, that. Give me a second. Um, so I'm going to grab now pure orange, like he has down here, because he's trying to recreate Venice during sunset. I believe either sunrise or sunset. I got to research that. I know I just saw the painting, so I'm putting the orange now. I'm blending it in because it's getting too dirty. And I'm gonna have to probably re-sketch again where the buildings are at. I can still see them. And remember, you guys in R2, you're doing impressionism, fisheye, or surrealism. So you guys are on the right track. Right now, I'm just doing the background of the sky. I'm gonna clean this out again. I'm only using the fabric same brush, sometimes you're better off putting this off yellow. I'm going to grab some of this yellow from here, actually. I'm going to grab some of the tempera yellow that I already have here. Uh, should put some white in there, which I am right now. So I'm mixing white with yellow. So Remember impressionists, I told you guys impressionists didn't like to mix quite too much. So, and now I am breaking the rule. So I'm going to bring the yellow back in here. Just soften this guy up a bit. And then, there we go. So if I bring the white yellow, I am actually fixing it. I'm bringing it down here too. So I'm blending it. As Monet would have done it. So I'm going to grab another brush, grab some of these. So I got a good artist who uses more than one. So now I'm going to grab and use that one. I'm just going to have to hey, party over here. Go the other way around. We're going to party over here. Go not the other way around, please. Because I'm video thinking right now. So now. So right now, guys, I'm adding a buck. This is the background to uh, for the city of Venice. It's going to be now the buildings. Instead of going like this, they're curving. Basically, it's the Basilica de Santa Croce, which is hangs out here, and the belfry. Not to be confused to the uh, belfry of uh, the cathedral. Ladies, please sit down. Uh, I will share. The, so right now, I'm thinking more like an Easter egg. We'll do this. Here, this is not the, where I add the details to. So I'm going to bring in back again. So I do like my blend of yellow right now. Here. 
Don't worry about the, if it leaks down R2. If it leaks down, that's okay. It's supposed to do that. Uh, I'm going to let it chill right now because I'm pretty much happy with what's going on. I'm going to let it dry for a second or two. So again, you're going to use, without a doubt, white and blue, yellow, orange, and uh, again, white, yellow, white, red, and the flat for the blue. So, and that's basically it. This is the first stage for the fisheye landscape. Remember, I'm doing Monet's uh, City of Venice, uh, Chita Veruta, on the background fisheye. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to upload it and...